When we look for life on other planets, what do we look for? What we look for is water. You cannot have life without water. And yet we're doing these crazy things to it. The UN considers plastic pollution second only to climate change with regard to the potential impact on the ability of our species to survive. Every piece of plastic that we've ever created is still on this planet somewhere. Where, well, increasingly we're finding, we're realizing that it's, it's in our water. The chemicals that are in and on plastic, they're, they're known to be endocrine disruptors, which means that they mimic hormones. Children are exposed to um, at least 300 different synthetic chemicals before they're even born. And it's literally reprogramming our DNA. So I wondered, it's my backyard, I wonder if there's plastic in the Great Lakes. And so we surveyed uh, three of the five Great Lakes. When we started getting then the counts and doing the data, um, we're really kind of surprised. First, by the magnitude, um, the number of particles that we were finding in each of our trials, as well as the size. You know, 75% of the plastics that we found were micro-sized. They were less than one millimeter in size. From the moment that I got into this field, I actually got into it because I wanted to make a difference. It isn't going to happen by just publishing peer-reviewed journal articles. It's going to happen by talking to people and making this science relevant. So we did a global tap water study. That allowed us to show that this isn't just a United States problem. This is, you know, is this true globally? Was 88% of the tap water samples that we analyzed had plastic pollution. And so my thinking was, if we show that there's microplastic in tap water, people are gonna be so shocked and so horrified that they're going to, to demand change. Like there's just gonna be this massive shout out across the globe, people rising up and telling their governments, we need to fix this problem. And instead, what I heard was, let's drink more bottled water. And I was stunned and decided um, that we would do a global bottled water assessment. In comparison to the tap water, we found twice as many pieces of plastic within bottled water as compared to tap water. I feel incredibly blessed to have the job that I have because I get to educate the people who are gonna be making future decisions. I get to do the science that I hope those future decisions are based upon and I get to advocate for change happening, both um, individually and on a societal level, governmental level. Our society cannot afford to waste things. You know, we live on a planet with finite resources Waste can't be part of that picture if we want to survive.